Hi guys, how are you today? Uh, in this video, we're gonna have a colorant chat, so I'm gonna continue coloring this page from Ticket to Dreams by Karolina Kubik Kubikowska. And today I'm thinking about doing her hair and possibly some of the leaves. It depends how long this is gonna take. So let's dive in. I chosen, so I've been coloring or I start coloring um, this page using Derwent drawing pencils. It's actually my first, you know, coloring page that I'm using these ones. So today I'm a little bit more prepared. I've chosen four colors for her hair. So I chose Soleil Blue. I think that's how you say soul way blue um smoke blue ink blue and ivory black so let's get started and let's chat a little bit so i'm starting with soul way blue the lightest color and i'm gonna see where i'm gonna put my highlighters highlights and then um and then we go from there. So I'm going to zoom you in. I'm going to zoom you in. Yeah. And let's start, I think. Yeah. So how's everybody today? How has your week been? Uh, it's been a while since, you know, I've talked to you guys. So, first of all, um, I want to welcome the new members, all the people that have subscribed. I'm very happy that our little community, our little family is growing. So, I'll do my best to, you know put out video, interesting videos uh, for everyone. And young guys. Is this part of the flower or part of the hair? I'm gonna assuming it's the hair. It doesn't really matter if it's the flower. I think it's, I'll make it the hair. Well, if it's not, it's not. Let's take some artistic or colorist colorist livery <laughs> so I have decided more or less where the highlights gonna go it's not that precise but we'll see my I feel like my process is quite intuitive so sometimes I jump between color pencils, you know, and I don't even, I don't have like a structured process. I'll just be jumping accordingly to how I feel it looks better, but we'll see. Now I go into smoke blue. I hope you guys, and let's, let's go. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've been having a bit of a hard time. I don't want to talk too much about it because it's quite personal. But I also don't want to, you know be very very secretive because this is something that people <clears throat> have been struggling it's not only me but um i haven't been my mental health hasn't been the best so um yeah so it has it has been a bit of a struggle i'm gonna go back into the solway solway blue so I will 
I will a little bit blend into the smoke blue but uh, yeah so it's been a bit of a struggle and also it is not easy when your baby does not sleep during the night so that hasn't really helped when you can't sleep it's especially if it's a uh i don't know a thing that's been going on for a while it is very taxing on a mental health and on your body too so but there's nothing we can really do except you know go with with what's going on so yeah and so i've been i've been very blessed because in finland mental health is taken very seriously okay i know in some places in some countries it's it's not it's not the case it isn't the case but in finland they're very very careful so i'm not gonna lie i've been off work for a while um because it's been really hard on me and it's really hard to go to a very physical work while you're not able to sleep at night. Um, so, um, yeah, <laughs> let's see how it progresses. So, yeah. Next, we go into the ink blue. Yeah, so that's what's been, you know, going on. I'll be back to work at the end of this month. So. Yeah. Trying to recuperate and. And gather or regather my strength. So, yeah, not going into details, but I have to confess I've been struggling with mental health for quite a many years, so, you know, life, of, life at times is, can be pretty tough, so, and it's okay sometimes when we need help. And as I said, uh, I'm very lucky and blessed that I'm in a country where they understand how mental health can, you know, have a, a, an effect on every on everything in your life. So, but yeah. So I'm trying now to take it easy and sorry guys, I got a little quiet there because of the and yeah and then I'll be ready to to uh, go back to active life. <laughs> not that my life is not active even now, because with two small kids, it's impossible, but you know, <laughs> yeah. So,
I'm thinking what else has been going on lately. Oh yes. I mentioned this, I think, last flip through, our last video. Um, my daughter had, apparently it's been around, but my daughter had this, she was sick, I think with English it's, uh, let me think, hand, foot and mouth illness. And it's a very common illness in children under five years old. And apparently there's been a an outbreak in daycares, so she had to stay home about 10 days or over a week, a little over a week, so yeah, fortunately her rush did not uh, cause a lot of, you know, itchiness or pain because I think that will have been really tough on her so but now she's back to now I'm gonna back to Solway Blue now she's back to daycare she's back to her healthy self and she actually started a new care a new daycare closer to our place to closer to our home and she's adapting very well which is very very good so, at the moment my kids are at their grandparents' place and my husband went to pick them up. Um, there's a lot of berry bushes at my, gran uh, at my grandparents, <laughs> sorry, at my in-laws garden or backyard. So, My husband is gonna pick some berries also today, so we can do, so we can make some jam. So oh, that's gonna be interesting. My husband knows how to make the jam. He actually, I, she, I, I, she, he doesn't make it that often, but he has made it before. So I'm actually looking forward to a homemade jam. Mm hmm. So actually the kids spent the night last night at my in-laws and uh, it was nice to have a little couple time. We had nice dinner at home with a nice wine and we watched, um, we finished watching this uh, TV show called In From The Cold. Now I'm gonna go with Ivory Black. Um, I love that show <laughs> and the twist at the end was um, the twists were really interesting it's a, you know that's a show that we didn't watch in front of the kids it's a little violent you know a bit aggressive so we of course we don't want to watch that in front of the kids so I hope they will come out with a second season. I don't know. You know, with Netflix, you never know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant about Netflix, but one problem I have had with Netflix is that they make very, they make very interesting shows, but a lot of times they cancel the show after one season. <laughs> And it's very disappointing. I feel like it's a bit like fast food. You know, like, okay, let's cancel this show because it's not, you know, giving us the revenue that we are expecting. And it's very disencouraging. And it's like, okay, this is a really nice TV show, Netflix original TV show, but I don't know if I want to get too invested in this show because there's a good possibility they will just cancel it, you know? So that's the big problem I have with Netflix at, at this point. Um, back into Solway Blue to, you know, blend a little bit. Uh, 
I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this hair, but let's see. It's a bit like the first layers, so I try. I'm trying not to um, apply too much pressure. So I'm gonna go back into ivory black. So yeah, let's see. Well, then we watch a movie. What was it? S A S. It was also on Netflix. Uh, Black Swan. You know, I'm not usually a action. Uh, kind of view like girl action movies, but I actually enjoy watching that one with my husband last night. It feels like it's been forever since we watched a movie together. <laughs> it was a little violent, I must say, but yeah, but I still enjoyed it. I mean, it was nothing like oscar worthy or anything like that but you know it was good entertainment so even though i had to cover my eyes at some points <laughs> yeah um hang on I also need to check how long this is taking because since I'm filming on my phone I don't have that much storage to make really long videos unfortunately I've been thinking about getting a new phone not right now because I'm still under contract for the phone I have right now but the contract will end in October so I've been having this phone for like three or four years I think three actually. So I'm thinking about getting a new phone with more storage, more memory space, you know. So I'm thinking about that. So we've been here for about 20 minutes, 18, 20 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. So maybe I'd like to see if I could finish this hair Now I'm gonna go back to the second darkest color, which is uh, ink blue. <laughs> to a little bit blend and give a bit more dimension. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this hair. <laughs> but we're gonna roll with it. And while the kids been ho been home, we've been watching. I don't know if any if you guys know Little Witches Academy. It's like an anime. It's not like an anime. It is an anime. It's a Japanese. Uh, it's made in Japan, so it's an anime. It was really nice. Uh, animated show. So we finished that. We don't know if there's going to be a third season, but, you know, the way the second season ended, it ended in a really good. Uh, going back to Ink Blue. Ink Blue. Sorry, Ivory Black. So, it ended really nicely. So, if it if the show really... If it was really the, the last season, the final season, then it ended really really good now we're just finishing watching sonic x because my my kiddo my boy really likes that and i like sonic too i actually when i started playing video games like at the age of six or seven I, my dad had a conference uh, a medical conference my dad is a doctor Anyways, he had a medical conference in the US and he brought me, <laughs> I'll never forget, he brought me a Game Gear from the US at the time. And the game that came with it was Sonic. So I love Sonic because of that. I've always loved Sonic. I loved 
always play Sonic video games. Then we upgraded to a Mega Drive and then to, um, I think it was Sega Dreamcast. We always had Sonic games, so I actually Sonic is one of my favorite. I'm gonna go back to Smoke Blue. It's actually one of my favorite games of all time, you know, so I enjoy watching Sonic with, you know, my heroes and my husband. So now Ink Blue. See guys, I don't have like like a step-by-step -step, like kind of formula. Uh, ivory black, I just do whatever feels that it needs, you know, whatever I feel it needs to be done <laughs> or that looks good. But at the same time, I don't want to, even though I want her to have black hair, I don't want it to be too black because otherwise you won't be able to distinguish uh, the hair from the black line work of the illustration. So I need to be careful with that. Um, I'm going to go up here. Have I said, have I talked about the um, Dragon Prince animated show cartoons? Oh, that one is really good too. And they say they're gonna have a new season. I really hope so, because it was a really great story. And as a family, we really loved it, so. How are we feeling about this hair? Is it coming along? What do you guys think? I'm not sure. It's it's coming along. I might off camera um, do some adjustments, but I think it's uh, it's coming along all right. For those of you who are new to my color and chats, I usually talk about kind of what's been going on in our lives. I talk about the stuff we've been watching on Netflix, usually on Netflix, and sometimes on YouTube too, but, <clears throat> but more on Netflix as a family. So I usually talk about what's been going on, what we've been watching, and then what I've been reading and stuff like that, so it's just a little bit of a catch-up. Unfortunately, I don't do this in a lot because, you know, as you can imagine, we are a bit of a busy family. And I'm gonna go back to the lightest color, Solway Blue. And these videos take a little longer to, you know, film and to, you know, edit. And I like to do when I'm, you know, in a calm setting, in a calm head space. And um, yeah, and that's not always possible. <laughs> I also need to be in the mood for it, I have to c confess. I have to confess, so I'm not gonna lie about it. I also need to be in the mood. And then, as I mentioned before, I'm a very slow col colorist, I'm a very slow reader, I'm a very slow everything. <laughs> so it's just in my nature. And it's okay, I'm not gonna fight my nature. It is what it is. So. But 
Oh yeah. Now let's jump into reading. <laughs> So, I have to tell you that it's been a bit... Now I'm gonna go to Ink Blue. <laughs> I've been having... Maybe a few weeks ago, I had to DNF. For those who don't who for those who don't know dnf basically stands for do not finish so it has been made into like a verb i dnf this book i've been dnfing quite a bit quite a few books and i was feeling a little you know disencouraged about you know that i was not being that I wasn't being able to find, you know, anything that was tickling my fancy. But finally, apparently, I found something that I'm enjoying. I'm reading right now a fantasy book, uh, The Bone Shard Daughter. I forgot the author. Oh, she's Chinese American. Uh, anyways, it's a very... I'm still about 30% in. And... I'm enjoying it. You know, I was... I was... I tried to read... I don't know if any of you guys have heard this Violent Delights. I couldn't get into it. And... Oh, and before that, before this Born Shard Daughter, I read Pachinko. That was very interesting. It was about the ex it was a fiction, but it was kind of historical family drama fiction, and it was very interesting to read about the experience of Koreans in Japan. So, that I gave that book four stars. That was a really good book. So, it started a little slow, slow. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm getting into this. I'm gonna go back into Ink Blue. So, yeah. I was like, but then after maybe the 80 page mark, I was in really into the book. So I, I actually finished that book rather quickly. And now I'm reading The Bonchard Daughter, as, as I mentioned. And I'm also reading uh, Yolk. That's by, I can't remember the author anymore, but it's by a Korean-American author. That's more like um, contemporary YA, but I'm enjoying it. So, and I'm slowly doing my way through uh, the House of Fire and Breath, maybe, by Jerese Maas. I don't know, I'm not into that. Uh, I'm gonna go back into Ivory Black. I'm not into that series as I am uh, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I don't know why I'm not so into it, but It's a huge book humongous. It's like 800 pages So I start reading in January and I'm still on page like 200 so but I'm I want to read more and see if I get more into the story as the story progresses, so, yeah. So after the Bone Shard Daughter, I'm thinking about reading a thriller, The Host the Hostage. Again, I don't remember the author. <sighs> yeah, my head is not, <laughs> it's not really in the right place, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm back to the Solway Blue. Now I'm trying to blend. I don't know how I feel about this hair. But, you know, we almost... I think we passed the half hour. So I'm having to finish this video soon. 
I know at this rate, this color and chat or this page will take a few coloring and chats, but it's okay. So now I'm just kind of uh, blending, further I'm blending. But guys, comment down below. How you guys been? What you been guys up to? What you been coloring? So I've been coloring. Uh, what have been coloring? I've colored. I did a color body with Trish Kiwi. I haven't posted that on Instagram yet, but I will soon when she's done with hers. I colored. I believe a Questopia page. Simple Foods is a color by number. I'm not, I don't usually do color by numbers, but, um, oops, excuse me. And I'm gonna go back into ivory blue, uh, ivory black. But, you know, after doing a more complicated coloring page, I like to do something simple like a mandala or something simple so I decided to do the color by number simple foods so that's that's what I did and now I'm coloring a Carla Magana uh, illustration and I start coloring Lulu Mayo Lulu Mayo a thousand cats is it a thousand cats or a million cats, something like that. It's actually, I have the Finnish version, so the the title is in Finnish. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go back again to the lightest color, Solway Blue, and I'm gonna blend this a bit more, and then I'm coloring it today. But yeah, comment on what you've been coloring, or like, what coloring books are you excited about? Or even what you've been reading? What you've been up to? What kind of coloring supplies you're really looking for to use on your books? Just uh, let me know how you guys do. I Okay guys, I think This is it. I might adjust a little bit off camera the rest of the hair, but it's pretty much done. So next time I'll color the flower and the leaves, and then and then I'll I think there will be another one where I co color the background and the uh, moth. I think it looks a lot more like a moth than a butterfly. So. Yeah, okay guys, I hope you are all doing well, and until next time, take care. Bye!